Hey guys, I'm um, just here inside of Quantum Plus and uh, we just want to pinpoint one of the options that is getting quite popular um, but a lot of people do ask questions on this so we, while we've got one here we just thought we'd quickly do a video on this just to outline what it offers and what it is basically. Um, now it does have a couple of names in the portal depending on the trailers. We have thrown a few different names against it over the years but it's going to either be in the portal um, for when you're finalising your options as a magazine cabinet or a storage cabinet against the shower cubicle wall. So this one obviously is in a Quantum Plus. It can be done, or it is standard in a Quantum Full Height. It can be done in a Matrix Pop Top. It can be done in a Matrix Hard Top as well, but it is going to look obviously slightly different in that that's going to be a little bit taller. But they all fundamentally offer the same things. Now, the idea behind this is obviously storage. So above the backrest, you're going to have storage pockets where you can store, obviously, items. There is a retaining lip on there, which will allow you to, to see items in there as you travel. Um, I just wouldn't advise, obviously, putting anything that you want to move or fall over in there because it could, on, on rough roads, obviously get damaged. Um, so you've got the two storage areas. You also have here, which Rihanna's just going to show you on the camera now. So this is going to be from the corridor side. So that does go quite a way through. That is going to be the length of the seat in terms of the width. Um, and obviously gives you, again, somewhere to store items. So to get all them little things out of the way if needed. Um, outside of the storage, believe it or not, a lot of people do actually look at this option for shortening the seats. So whether you pick this or not from actually standing in a Quantum Plus or whether you're working off the videos, this seat is always naturally longer than what this seat is predominantly because of what's underneath there. So this tends to store all your electrics. So a lot of people do actually look at this cabinet as a way of shortening the length of that seat. So rather than having one longer seat and then that seat, if you're having to sit on it and you're not quite tall enough, um, your feet may not touch the floor when you're actually sat against the backrest. So by adding this in at 150 mil wide, it actually takes 150 mil out of the length of the seat which for a lot of people means that you can sit on here. Obviously, I'm not the, the tallest of people, but I can actually sit on here and keep my feet on the ground, whereas I would struggle to do that on the seat if it was normal without that cabinet in there. So that is another way of looking at it. Um, we do tend to reduce the table by 50 mil when this is taken, obviously just to make it a bit easier to get in and out. Um, so that is one thing to look at. The other thing to outline with this option is that you do get PowerPoints as part of the cost of the cabinet. So this isn't an addition. This is all part of the package where you will have a double USB point. You'll have a 12 volt cigarette lighter socket and you will have a double mains inverter point. So really good option in that it gives you additional storage, um, which you've got through the two pockets. You've got through the side access as well. Um, also, obviously, it is going to help some people in terms of making the seating area a bit more comfy, especially if... Um, if you're a little bit height restricted, let's say like me. So hopefully that outlines this option. It can be done in a few different trailers. You are going to potentially see different names against it. But in our world, it's going to either be called a magazine rack holder or a storage cabinet against the shower cubicle wall.